Hey, welcome to my shop. Um, I recently purchased this uh, record power Coronet Herald from Stockroom Supplies. Uh, I think they're Niagara Falls. Great people, anyways. Um, I love this uh, lathe, especially the uh, like the new version uh, has an upgraded tail stock. And right now, until um, uh, they they started making a new tail stock, and so if you buy it right now, until they run out of the stock and they start making the next set of lathe with that are gonna come directly with this, it's gonna be much up. But if you buy it right now, uh, you're getting two tail stocks. You get in the old one. They used to come with the late and this in uh, separate boxes and upgrade so you wind up with two of them having said that the uh, the uh, the older style one that then had the uh, self eject and had the screw coming out of here uh, was aligned to the lathe this one was uh, manufactured separately from the lathe and it's in a separate box hence uh, the adjustment will not be uh, will not be right so I just want to uh, show you how to do that. Uh, for that, you're going to need a double-ended uh, MT2. I believe they uh, they sell them themselves. So you're going to make sure that you, the head of your thing is tight. And I'm not going to go through the whole process because it's pretty uh, simple and self-explanatory. But basically, uh, you're going to tell take the telestock out. And there is this is uh, the plate that uh, grabs, and uh, this is the guide. So I just loosen up this four bolts, so this has some movement. And once the bolts are loose, it's not going to be that simple to. Uh, you have to align each one of them as you put it in. Uh, so there. So as you can see now, this can move freely. So you're yeah, going to pull this out a bit so that the MT2 goes all the way in and slowly bring it in. Don't don't try to manipulate it, just push it in. Let it do what it's supposed to do and send it itself out. Once you got it there, you want to give it a bit of a squeeze. Tie this guy up, tie the actual tail stock, so now these two are locked together in the center, but uh, the plate that you loosen up is still uh, loose. So what you want to do is grab one of the plates, your choice, push it all the way against this railing and tie the two bolts. The opposite one push it up against this one and tie the bolts and make sure that you know you can still when you're done that you can still slide uh, make it a study like the tighter you make it the um, the uh, tougher it's gonna get to try to get it back in every time you take it out having said that it should fit uh, but the tighter you that you make it the more accurate this is gonna remain if you don't mind a little bit of play then so be it if you want to just make it easy but uh, so I adjusted uh, this play this way and this one that way I tie the screws I don't record that because it's under there and you can't really see it but uh, once they were tied I removed it it was a little tight for me so I put some oil and I actually uh, it was smoother here and a little tighter here so I, I grab a bit of some paper and sanded this area here and here and now she goes nice and smooth but there is no no play like and as you can see it lines up perfectly so I didn't show you this before but it was uh, it was off almost like a like a one eighth of an inch Anyways, that's it.